Just to reiterate, the Prime Minister Keir Starmer um, has arrived at the scene of that knife attack in Southport. Um, he laid flowers alongside a couple of other political leaders in the area as well and a senior police figure. Um, uh, there were shouts, angry shouts and distressed shouts um, at the time from a number of people. Bye bye. Got your photos. Off you go. Make a real change, Prime Minister. Make a real change. Get our children. Go away. I just found out my friend's nine-year-old daughter was killed. You're not wanted. The person I've held as a child. And he said it was. Who was it? Um, uh, we also learned in the last uh, 10 minutes, 15 minutes or so, the names of the three little girls uh, who have been confirmed as having died as a result of this, having been killed um, in that attack yesterday. Uh, they're Bebby King, who is six, Elsie Dot Stankham, who is seven, and Alice De Silva Aguiar, who's nine. Uh, their families, uh, the Merseyside Police Statement says, are being supported by specialist officers. One of them is of Portuguese origin and she's being supported as well. Their family are being supported as well uh, by the Portuguese consulate based in Manchester. Uh, those families have all issued photographs but have asked to be left alone um, from here on in uh, to deal with their grief. We can go to Southport now and talk to Liam Gotting, LBC's reporter. Uh, Liam, the Prime Minister has just been and laid uh, some wreaths. Were you near enough at the time to hear what those people were shouting? Hi, Sheila. Yeah, I was literally knelt right in front of those people who were shouting at Sir Keir Starmer and uh, the Metro Mayor Steve Rotherham as they turned up to lay flowers. It was more as they began to walk away, uh, the people started shouting, how many more children? Uh, they shouted, make a change. People were asking, uh, will it be my kids next? Uh, before screaming as he was walking away, you're not welcome here. Um, so certainly some ill will feeling towards some people here, towards the Prime Minister turning up and laying flowers. Was here. Yeah, um, yeah, and, and th there are concerns that uh, people are making uh, a racist or immigrant attack out of this, aren't they? You know, an, uh, a, a political issue about this. We will see how that unfolds, but that sounds as though that's what they were alluding to there. Um, can I ask you as well uh, just to describe what's been happening throughout the afternoon? Because there's been a busy flow of people there, hasn't there, all day? Yeah. Yeah, I've not really seen anything like this ever before, Sheila. Just the the constant stream of people turning up, you know, one by one. Even as I speak now, there's still people arriving, laying more flowers, more tributes, you know, teddy bears. There's just so much. The whole of the street here at the top is, over the top of Hard Street, is just covered in flowers. It's almost now coming off the pavement and into the side of the road. There is that many. We're about seven, eight bouquets of flowers deep. Uh, to the uh, the nearest wall and I say this the the steady stream of people that have constantly been coming it really shows the sort of strength of feeling here amongst this community such a tight-knit community pretty much you know everyone that we've seen who's been turning up have been families it's a very residential area a lot of families who all know each other and at least know someone who's been you know involved uh, in this attack but as I say um, you know Sakia Starmer turning up the Prime Minister wanting to lay his own flowers pay his own tribute but clearly some people did not take too kindly to him being here as you you know heard the heckles before is that applause i can hear in the background liam it is applause uh, the northwest ambulance service have just arrived uh, and have started laying their own flowers and people are uh, seemingly much more welcoming and receptive to them they're just laying flowers now as well that's the applause you can hear in the background thank you very much indeed liam uh, liam gotting lbc's reporter